How did you feel about today's workout? Um, I felt it went well, you know, just being out there, playing with those guys. They're very competitive. Um, and it's just great to be here, man, and enjoying the process, uh, enjoying everywhere I've been. Um, I'm, I'm feeling good, and I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> no fatigue has set in yet? Hmm, rarely. I'm <laughs> probably like this 99.9% .9 of the day, so I'm good. <laughs> All right. What's the message you want to convey to the NBA teams that are considering drafting you? Um, well, they know what I can do. They know what type of player I am. Um, so I would say pretty much, you know, not being a liability, uh, not being someone who's going to come into a locker room and cause problems or disturbances. Um, I want to enjoy, you know, the things of life, nature, you know, people embracing them. So I would say just just being a great asset to the locker room and to the team because you, you want to be around positive people. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, that, that up, uplifts spirits, uh, players, gains. Uh, and I'm that guy that's going to come in and do that. Do you feel like you get an opportunity to show uh, these teams who you are as a person when you're here? Definitely, definitely. I, no matter if we're playing or if we're on the sideline, I'm being me, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to be comfortable with, with who you are and you got to be, you know, who you are to play as good as you want to play. So as far as me, you know, being me, I'm, I'm not afraid to be that. And uh, I'm going to keep doing that because uh, I've been successful doing that. So. And they, they know who I am. They know I like to have fun and enjoy basketball. Uh, you should if you're going to play it. So um, that's how I look at it. How did this matchup with Anderson go compared to the last one? Um, I don't know. I got him to talk some more. I mean, he, he always talks. He's always energetic uh, along with me. Um, but I would say as far as talking trash, I started, you know, uh, grinding his gear a little bit. And uh, it was pretty exciting, you know. Um, basketball, you know, a lot of people talk trash. It's a competitive sport. And um, I felt comfortable when he was talking trash back, and uh, it was fun. And uh, he went hard, I went hard, he scored, I scored, and it was, it was just basketball. What did he say to you, and what did you say to him? Um, this is not That's live funny. wire, so uh, we didn't have him on the court, so nobody heard it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when you find yourself matched up against the same person, like camp after camp, do you guys develop like a rapport or a friendship or, or a deepening rivalry? Um, it depends what you're talking about. If you're talking about on the court, it's definitely a rivalry. Because at the end of the day, this is our job. This is what we're trying to, you know, become great at. So it's no friends on a basketball court at the end of the day. You can, you can joke, buddy, buddy, ha ha, after you get off the court. But on the court, it's definitely a rivalry. Um, but at the same time, we're on it. Like during this, we're gonna, you know, say good job and stuff like that. Because just showing we're good teammates. So, uh, and, um, I would say we definitely build relationships and friendships throughout the process, seeing them every time I go somewhere. Um, kind of have no choice but to talk to them. <laughs> when you come in for, for a workout with a defensive coach like Coach Casey, does it, does it get, do you get up a little bit more because of that, because of, because of your skill set, because of what you're known for? I think if you get up because of you have one of a great defensive mindset coach or you get up because it's a coach that likes scoring, you're weak. I think, you know, no matter what position you're in or, you know, when you go to play, you should be up. So I feel like I'm up all the time. <laughs> Not to compare yourself to anybody in the NBA, but just to lend some context to your game, is there somebody that you model your style after? Um, no, but I say it's, it's guys I look at, you know, like I like Kawhi Leonard's game. He's a great, you know, person to, you know, kind of follow the steps after. Um, and then I look at LeBron, you know, as an all-around player, I feel like I have, you know, kind of an all-around game. Once I develop more, um, I'm not saying I'm LeBron. No, <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, but I am saying, you know, I feel like uh, it's a lot of things that I can do and can bring to a team. How much, I know it can be tiring and I know it can be a grind, but how much fun is it to go through this process? You only get to do it once. Oh, it's, it's you know, it's great. I would say uh, just being able, being able to, you know, understand more so than do it is, uh, big for us you know like people don't really understand how you know good of a, a a field this is just being able to connect yourself and make these connections and and uh learn people and uh down the road when uh free agency time comes they'll remember you <laughs> from this workout so um just making a good impression um and enjoying it and being who you are is uh pretty big and i'm having fun with it <laughs>